everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog well it's been a long old trek with the uh, TTS but finally the TTS is now running and working okay as you saw in last week's episode I still need to get the car MLT but because I am going away next week um, then I'm gonna leave it to when I come back I'm away for a week or for work so no point in me getting it done now. But when I come back, we'll get it and we'll you. you'll see that. In the meantime, today we're gonna to be dealing with one of our old classics, and that classic being the Tesla. You haven't seen the Tesla for a while. We've been doing, I've been doing a couple of videos over the winter just showing how the running period have been. And to be fair, the Tesla has been absolutely, it's been very good. I'm not gonna say brilliant, it has been brilliant, um, but I don't want to force stuff, anyway. The car has been very good, no issues. Um, we're getting to getting used to it, and, and I'm really enjoying driving the car. So, with my recent trip that I had in America, and I had a Model Y, uh, the one thing that I absolutely valued was uh, supercharging. And of course, my car, being a salvage car, doesn't have supercharging. But in November, Tesla made a change. They allowed cars that are salvage or Tesla salvage cars to be tested and to be able to go on their network. So my car is going through that process now, but we'll come on to that in another video. I've got a video coming up maybe next week, maybe the week after, and you do not want to miss that me that, that video because it's a warts and all how to get your car through the Tesla test. Now, I've got one thing that I need to do on my car. <clears throat> to hopefully pass that test. And that's one of the reasons why we haven't done a video yet. But today we're gonna to be fitting that one bit and that is this here. This is what we call a lube. It fits in the front of the car and all it does is literally, it does that. That is all that it does. But this one action, lifting and closing, is absolutely vital for supercharging. If this doesn't work, your car will not pass the test. And my car, it needs to have this sorted. Now, the originals that are on the car now are from the Mark I bumper, the original Mark I bumper. And the new bumper that I fitted is slightly bigger. So what I've done is I've got one for the later model, which is what this is, and we're gonna be fitting it to the car today. Also, I wanna check behind the bumper just to make sure everything is okay, because We've done that car back in August, and we haven't. I want to just want to make sure that everything is as it should be. And also, I have an issue with one of the sides. So when we put the car together, one of the actual mounts came loose. So I'm going to plastic weld that together so we can get that fixed. So a few things to do in a bumper. Let's go and get that sorted. And then, in fact, I'll show you what the fault is on the car first before we start taking the bumper apart and then we'll get that fixed and refitted. And then let's see what happens then. So, let's go to the car. Okay, you join me at the front of the car. So, this is a vein that we're talking about. And at the moment, it is trying to open this side here, but it clearly isn't opening. So we need to investigate why. Um, so to do that, we need to take the bumper off or we're going to have to take the bumper off so first thing we need to do obviously we'll do that take the bumper off we'll get up on up on stands and then we'll give it an inspection now this side here he works absolutely fine no problem with him but the other side is reporting back the problem so let's get that to pieces and then we can take a look and see what's going on Okay, bumper's off, pretty straightforward. Um, but here's what I was talking about. The assembly here, you see this? This is supposed to be stuck to the side there, but it's not. So we're gonna have to repair that and get that sorted. This side is working fine. This is our problem side. So let's go and inspect that. We'll bring it in the garage and we'll get up on the stand and we'll take a closer look and see what's going on then. 
Okay, so that's the first thing we need to fix. This was bonded, but it broke when I tried to put it in the car. So we need to get this sorted properly. So let's get that sorted. Uh, and then this side here. Now, this is from the original bumper. And although the shape is roughly the same, the main difference is, is this arm here, which goes into a screw hole here. And this one here doesn't have that arm. So what we did was we made these plastic lamps here which then bond into the original bolt down there. And uh, I'm wondering whether that's causing the problem. So let's get this off and then we can take a look at it and see what we need to do to make sure that this works. In fact, we'll take this motor off. I do have a replacement motor. Here we go. We've got a replacement motor. Just in case there's a problem with this motor, we'll keep that one and we'll replace it with this as well so let's do that Okay, so we've taken the, this is the old vein off and instantly I have seen the problem. Let me show you. So we've taken the motor off and if you wind this, that's exactly what's happening. It's not moving. And as you can see, down in the corner there, that's broken. So what should happen is that this comes out like so, like that, you see. But if you look in the corner there, you can see that that's broken. And this is quite common on these, uh, on these Model S's. They do break. Uh, all it takes is just for a little bit of fatigue and I've seen people try to repair these but you really cannot repair these they just you know they might work for a bit but they break so that's why that wasn't working and in fact that's the noise that I was hearing and so that was a motor trying to open the vein but it wasn't working I'll show you the good one so you can see what I'm talking about so this is a new one that we're going to fit and you can see that turns and opens straight forward right so we'll get this fitted now in here and then uh, we'll move on to gluing the other side okay so we've got the motor now back on and so it's now in place so we're going to stick it back in and I'm doing this in real time rather than zoom in okay You think this will be easy? And it should be. Okay. I think that's in place. Let's have a look underneath. Let's see what it looks like in the real world. Oh, that looks terrible. So even though this is the the real deal. That doesn't look very good. So let's get that sorted.
Right. Let me come back to this in a second. Right, so we have got this side back on. I'm really disappointed about that. It's because I cut this away. So what we're gonna have to do is get some plastic and we're gonna cover that up just to shield it and to make it look a little bit more professional. It's gonna look rubbish in the car. But anyway, this side has gone on pretty well. What we've done, we've used some proxy glue because the hot iron wasn't working very well. So we've got some proxy glue. We've absolutely caked it with that and that's now in place and bonded. So we're going to put the bumper now back onto the car and uh, hopefully that vent, this vent here is causing all the problems, that's going to work. Okay, so the car is back together. Now we have to see if that vent will work. Let's check it out. Day two. So, day two. We're going to have to take this bumper off again because these loos still aren't working properly. But this time we're going to have a look at the position of the motor to see if it's the position of the motor that's causing the loos not to open. So let's uh, start that process. Take the bumper off and uh, the next shot you'll see will be the bumper on the floor. Right, so the bumper is off. And what I want to actually do is to take off this motor and just see if it has a standard position that it goes to when there it expects the veins to be closed at the moment they are closed or they're partly closed um, but we'll take off the motor and then we'll activate the veins from by putting the key in the car and then hopefully that will find its closed position so it should open and then it will close and then that's the position we're going to use to put it back in the car and then hopefully that will all work let's have a look Okay, the vent is now working. As you can see, it's open at the moment. It's about to close. Now it's moving nice and smooth and it isn't getting stuck. So that is a fix. It was simply the motor was out of sync with the actual vein. So it was trying to open when it was already set to close, if that makes sense. So the, that all the veins, I set them close it was trying to close them further and then it was trying to open it and it was only opening it a little bit so uh, that could damage the actual plastic and I think that's what happened with the last set which is why they broke so it was very important to take the motor off let it go to its closed position and we used this side as a reference so when this was closed we knew that that was closed and that seemed to work so now it's opening and closing as you just saw right get a bumper back and we should be good okay so uh, this vein here is now also open the car is basically cooling there's a leaf stuck in there it's 
been irritating me. Right, um, so that's open and that's opening without any issues. So that's absolutely fine as well. So I think we can safely say that this car is ready now for its test on, on Wednesday. So hopefully everything will go according to plan and uh, yeah, it will pass that test. So just got to button up a couple of bolts and then uh, we're good to go. Okay, that's it, done and dusted. So now we just got to get the car through its inspection on Wednesday and then we'll be able to bring you the video that I've been looking forward to bringing you for a long, long time. So tune in and let's see what happens. Okay, so the car is sorted and now all we need to do is take it to test out on Wednesday and hopefully it will pass its test. That's not the only thing I need to test this week. We also need to get the TTS tested as well. And then after that, what happens next? Wait and see. So, uh, hopefully next week we'll bring you the video on the Tesla, uh, the Tesla recertification. So yes, I am recertifying the Tesla to get it on the supercharging network. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll, well, we'll bring all the details for that in the next one. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe if you are a casual subscriber, because a lot of you are. Um, our goal this year is to get to about 50K. Can we do it? We can with your help. So click on that subscribe button, press the bell notification so that you're notified whenever we release a new video. And we're gonna be here on the next one. So have a good one and we'll see you soon.